Montpellier were one of only five teams to beat Paris Saint-Germain in Ligue 1 Conferama last season with a 3-0 win here at Le Mosson. After a mixed start to their campaign, they were looking to frustrate the capital club once again, especially in the absence of Brazilian superstar Neymar. It has been a tale of two penalty takers at PSG this week after the disagreement, to put it mildly, between Neymar and Edinson Cavani about who should be taking their spot kicks. The Uruguayan missed one in last Sunday's win over Lyon, but the two men did patch up their differences in midweek before it was announced on Friday that Neymar would be out with a foot injury. With the Champions League clash against German giants Bayern Munich looming on Wednesday, PSG coach Unai Emery rested Angel Di Maria and left Dani Alves on the bench, but Kylian Mbappe was in there and had one of PSG's better chances in the first half. The 18-year-old sensation twisting and turning, but seeing his attempt blocked there by Pedro Mendes. Well, in the absence of Neymar, PSG was struggling to break down Montpellier's five-man defence and the disastrous state of the Le Mans on pitch wasn't helping matters. Cavani looking to latch on to a pass from Thomas Meunier there, but it was set to be a frustrating afternoon for El Matador. Goalless at half-time then. Emery and his assistant coach, Zumana Camera, formerly a Paris Saint-Germain player, of course, Somewhat short on solutions. While well, Paris continued to dominate possession, they had nearly 75% of it by the end of the game. But again, struggling to make that breakthrough. A chance here. Mbappe could have played the pass to Cavani, chose to go it alone instead. And a simple stop in the end for the goalkeeper. Man in yellow coming forward again, Marco Verratti with a long ball over the top for Mbappe. Didn't quite get the touch he needed to get a shot away. Now Montpellier keeping PSG out once again. And in the end, Montpellier might even have snuck a shock win. Casimir Ninga's pass here for Jerome Roussillon just a little bit overcooked. Alphonse Ariola with time to get off his line and smother the danger. Well, PSG then felt that they should have had a penalty here as Cavani was felled in the area by Mendes. And admittedly, when looking at the replay, he got the ball but clearly got the man as well. Referee Clement Turpin unmoved. But the capital club perhaps a little bit unlucky not to get the decision there and in the end for the first time since February they failed to score a goal in Liga and Conferama PSG dropping their first points of the season as it finished at 0-0 after six consecutive wins they do remain a point ahead of Monaco at the top now though it's time to focus on the Champions League and Bayern